Hi, my name is Liz Pichon and I write and draw all the Tom Gates books. Um, this is a very special year because it's Tom's 10th anniversary um, and I'm going to be reading a little bit from every single one of the books that I have written over the 18, I was going to say 18 years, it's not, it's 10 years. <laughs> so yeah, there's 18 books. So this one is called Tom Gates, Mega Make and Do and Stories 2. Um, and yeah, it's 10 years since the first book came out, which was Tom Gates, The Brilliant World of Tom Gates. Um, so here we go. This one's a special book because there's lots of things, you know, I always put things to make and do in the back of the books. So we thought it'd be fun to actually collect as many of them together. So lots of them are in here and a few extra ones as well. There's How to Draw Dog Zombies. There's How to Make a Kite, uh, Colouring in Pages, um, How to Play Skittles back to school and a few stories that connect all the, the, the whole book together. So this one is the half term holiday. The half term holiday is coming up next week and everyone in the school is just a little bit excited. They are. It takes a while for the class to settle down. Marcus won't sit still and keeps jumping around. Hey Tom, Tom, I'm doing something in the holidays that would be your dream. Do you want to know what it is? He says loudly at me. Nah, not really. Then I turn towards Amy and ask her a question instead. What are you doing for half term, Amy? This annoys Marcus a lot, I can tell. Hang on, I haven't told you what I'm doing yet. Trust me, you'll really want to know. I've already been to Chocolate World, Marcus, I remind him. I'm not going there, it's something way better than that, he says, and then he waits for us both to guess. But we don't. Do you remember June, Amy asks. June, oh yeah, her dad lives next door. She always pulls stupid faces at me and worse than that, she doesn't even like dude three. I mean, that's unbelievable, right? June is so annoying, I say, and it's all coming back to me now. She's my friend and our dads are friends too and I'm going to her house one day as she's back for half term. I thought as you live next door, you might want to hang out. Mm, or maybe not if June's so annoying, Amy tells me. Oh, how was I supposed to know that they were friends? So when I said that June was annoying, she might have changed, I add, trying to make it sound better, although I bet she still doesn't like dude three. Speaking of annoying, Marcus is still desperate to get us to guess what he's up to and blurts out, I'm going to have to tell you because I can't wait. You better be quick before the lesson starts, I point out, as Mr. Fullerman's already standing up. Okay, okay, I'm going to... Too late. Pay attention, Class 5A. F, you all need to write this down in your homework book, please. Oh. Over the holidays, your homework is... Drum roll. To do no homework. <laughs> I'm not setting any homework this holiday. I'd like you all to have a break. Please put up your re please keep up with your reading and if you feel like writing anything, that's fine too. Enjoy your free time. The whole class is in shock. <laughs> They're not used to Mr. Fullerman saying that. Did Mr. Fullerman really say no homework, asks Amy. I think he did say, I say. No homework, Marcus repeats. It takes a while for the news to sink in. There we go. So there's a little bit from Mega Make and Do and Stories too. And so that was the whole point. So Mr Fullerman set them no homework and then they have loads of other things to do. So if you like, enjoy making things and doing things, then this is the book for you. <laughs> there you go. Bye.